Hello, my name is Catherine Gregor, and I'm a translator from French and Italian. I'd like to read you an extract from Vanda by Marion Brunet, which I've had the honour to translate, published by Bitter Lemon Press. She's recognised him immediately, stopped breathing, frozen. He's having a drink next to the speakers, a restrained swaying of the head, the bored smile of a guy who hasn't hung around this sort of place for a long time. What the hell is he doing here? Vanda hasn't seen him for almost seven years. Seven years is a long time, another lifetime, a cliche for physical reality. The guy isn't moving. He's always been like that. It's only during sex that he'd go into motion, surprisingly unsystematic and eager. Turning her back to the stage, Vanda walks to the group of dancers, pushes past the sweaty bodies and the jerking, colliding torsos. Glowing orange faces twist in the light, teeth exposed. As the group on the stage gets more and more excited and the mood at the bar goes up a notch, she realises she's already a bit plastered. Dizzy from the drink and feeling invaded on her patch. He there, next to the speakers, is no longer a part of her landscape, but superimposed, like an insect on a favourite painting. She's got to go home, run away from the guy who suddenly popped out of the woodwork. Fuck, she'd better get a move on before he sees her. She slinks over to the bar and orders a vodka. Last one, she tells the barman, who smiles and doesn't believe her. He couldn't care less if he's lying. She's seen worse than her every night. He also often sees her and has done for a long time. Through habit, this bar's also become a kind of pretend family, people to have a laugh with even if you don't feel like it, pissheads who become closer than the cousins you used to mess about with or your own kids. It's the only place where you can still hear punk groups play like they're smashing a bus shelter or a ticket machine, slightly dirty rock for partying drink buddies. There are others like her here, damaged goods that forgot to grow old. Vanda downs her vodka in a large single gulp that barely stings and puts the glass back down on the counter brusquely. Vanda by Marion Brunet, published by Bitter Lemon Press.